Hello and welcome to the 10 year anniversary of Mountain Blade Warband, or shall we say, my first ever playthrough of Warband. And uh, yeah, I'm actually a few months late because it began in May of 2012, and I did another 5 year anniversary series as well, and now this is the 10 year one. Yeah, who would have thought it, right? Who would have thought it? I certainly wouldn't. Anyway, we're going to be changing what we usually used to do in the character creation and I've done a little bit of extra research on this so I'm kind of hoping that this is going to work out quite well for us. So traveling merchant, craftsman's apprentice, smith and then being forced out of your home. That usually tends to be quite good for our stats. You can see here strength, intel intelligence is pretty good and we're also gaining two in leadership, four in trade, uh, engineering doesn't really matter too much at the moment, but it will matter relatively soon. And uh, we're going to be calling ourselves a vegetable. I can change this, obviously. If you would like me to change it, then by all means let me know. But otherwise, I'm just going to be leaving it the way it is. I'm going to be spending two points in looting. We're going to be spending a lot of points in pathfinding, a lot of points in surgery as well. And then we're going to be going for one more point in inventory management. And then I have no idea. I don't really know what to do here. So I'm thinking we'll probably go for something. Maybe maybe spotting. Is spotting actually going to be useful for me? Not really, right? Not really. So I'm thinking we'll probably just go for one point in power strike so that we can do a little bit of extra damage with our one-handed. And then we can continue onwards. So, oh, there we go. Perfect. Wonderful randomization right there. And then we're just going to go straight on in and start in the Vagia's area. Okay, so this is gonna, this guy's gonna obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. I 100% I assumed he would be able to dodge that, or shall we say that I was going to be so bad at shooting him that I was gonna miss. Yeah, that happens. If you zoom in, I find that that's the funny thing. If you zoom in, in either Warband or Bannerlord, you, you, you're gonna have some issues with your accuracy. In my opinion, I feel like it's, it, it's a bit weird. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But whatever the case, I'm going to just go straight on in here because we have some tools from the character creation. If I can actually click away that box, thank you very much. And now we're just going to go and we're just going to recruit a bunch of people. That's it. We're just going to recruit a bunch of people. I have to be very, very careful of looters and forest bandits. Forest bandits are basically going to be my bane. That is going to be literally some of the worst bandit that we can uh, that we can run into however if we do run into them it's actually not too bad because i will then be able to pretty much just go hey i can pay you some money can you leave me alone and then they're gonna say yeah okay i can definitely do that sir thank you very much for your for your cash and then they're just going to run away so generally that's what we're going to do if we can actually make that work i'm just going to continue running around and recruiting people and then we are going to go for a bit of an audacious strategy I've uh, actually seen this work before, and maybe I'll be able to actually pull it off myself as well. So I'm basically just wanting to get a really, really strong start. And by looting a village, yeah, I know, looting a village, I, but wow, that's, uh, that's risky, right? Yeah, it is a little bit risky. I've done a, I've done a couple, of, uh, couple of little test runs here and there, just to make sure that the actual run goes relatively nicely. I mean, generally, the start, shall we say, the start of the series goes relatively nicely because I don't really want to get myself taken prisoner, if at all possible. So we're just going to do a little bit of something here. I'm going to want to attack these villagers. Mm, no, never mind. OK, I wasn't able to do that, unfortunately. There go my wages. And we're just going to speed things up a little bit here. And we're just going to wait. There we go. That is what we wanted. Hello there, sir. Goodbye. And now we're just going to go over to Astinia. That is where we're going to go now. Uh, I've got to be a little bit careful. I want to make sure I don't get absolutely murdered by a vassal. And let's just loot and burn this village. Okay, so let's hope. Cross our fingers and hope that no vassals turn up. Because they can. <laughs> they can. And they might very well want to do that. But thankfully it doesn't seem as though they will. That is great. And look at how much loot we have right here. I'm going to be taking absolutely everything because we're going to get out of here in just a second. And we're just going to sell all this stuff. And as I said before, or maybe I actually didn't mention that just yet, but um, basically the best thing that we can do is try to focus on survivability. You may not think so because generally doing damage is the cool thing to do. But in Warband, you don't have the ability to continue your battle if you get eliminated. 
If you get eliminated, you're done. That's it. That's the end of the battle. So that is exactly the reason why I'm uh, I'm I'm being kind of careful about this. You know, kind of kind of a bit uh, kind of a bit cagey about it. Just want to make sure that we actually get this. You know, get get this wonderful start going on here. And we're just gonna try and sell the uh, the fresh meat because that is gonna be the thing that will go bad relatively soon. And we just wanna make sure that that is all fine and dandy. I'm actually gonna see if I can buy a relatively cheap helm. Mm, what a wonderful helm, look at that, 1600 it is. I can actually already afford it, so that's super, super nice. I could also buy this, but unfortunately it is 5,500. I don't think I have enough, even if I sell the remaining little bits of my loot. So I'm gonna buy one of these. That's going to already give me the amount that I, uh, well, that's what, well, basically I can just trade my loot for this, which is actually one of the reasons why looting a village immediately is actually super cool. And uh, I'm thinking we'll maybe buy some boots too. Maybe we'll buy some boots as well. Yeah, why not? Let's buy some boots as well. And uh, we do need to buy um, a chest piece. So the chest piece is going to be really, really important for us. So I'm hopeful that we'll be able to do that too. So let me just leave all of the food there. I should probably go, um, I should probably sell this actually and sell that and sell this and that. And there we go. All right. Okay, so that's fantastic. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to go and get a horse. Uh, ooh, I could get an, a heavy courser already. Ooh, now that, that might actually be really, really useful for us. Okay, so yeah, we're going to just go ahead and buy that. This is really a bit... I I don't really like doing this, but I'm going to do it nevertheless, okay? I'm going to do it nevertheless. So let's just do this. I'm going to put the horse at the end there. going to buy another Sumter horse just so we can run around a little bit faster. All right, so there we go. So now we have a slightly better slightly better protection against any possible attack and bear in mind that we now will want to go back over into i can't recruit from here at the moment we want to go back into rodok territory so let's be very careful here we want to be sneaky okay hopefully this guy hasn't seen me he has he is following a vegetable at the moment this is not a good idea you're going to look like a madman if you just follow a vegetable this uh this could go badly is he literally going... Is he literally following me right now? I hope not. I, I can only hope that I will be successful in my looting before he turns around and comes over here. Ooh, look at that. All right. So he basically just completely ignored us. I was just holding my breath here, waiting and waiting until it, uh, it actually completed. And we are getting some rather nice foodstuffs here, but nothing too amazing, unfortunately. We did get... Uh, some uh, some wine and we we didn't we, we got some spice but we didn't get any silk or anything like that but that's not that big a deal we have enough uh, technically I could actually execute or uh, shall we say slaughter some of the uh, some of the cows but I don't know whether I really want to do that right now I kind of want to just get out of here as fast as possible and just be very very careful about uh, going through this area because that vassal is going to be here patrolling around possibly maybe <laughs> hopefully not no no he seems he seems to have gone okay perfect absolutely perfect so now let's go over to probably going to go over to suno i i could buy the chess piece from praven which would be amazing if we could buy that coat of plates that would be so incredibly good for us um but i don't think we're going to be able to do anything with it at the moment 5500 don't think i have enough for that so, my name is a vegetable. Ah, yes, but it, uh, it, it, it is a vegetable that you will never know. You will never know the name of the vegetable. Thank you. All right. It's like playing that game, you know, animal, mineral, vegetable, or whatever it's called. All right. So, yeah, otherwise, let's just continue to sell all of our wonderful stuff here. And there we go. All right. That is fantastic. Okay. So I'm just going to sell the dried meat as well. Seems to sell for a pretty decent amount. Sell the grapes too, because they generally are not very efficient in uh, providing uh, sustenance to your people. And then we're just going to go for that. There we go. Oh, that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, I would like to get a Bardish. 
I love Bardishas. Uh, I don't know whether you know this, but I love Bardishas. I think they are super, super fun to play with. And there's one here for 2,000. I don't know whether I really want to spend 2,000 or whether I want to get some armor. I'm thinking we probably want to get some armor, so I'm going to just go ahead and do that instead. Even though I don't really want to, I would have liked, I would have preferred, shall we say, to do it the other way around. But um, I can't really say no to a good, a good set of armor, right? So, for example, I could buy this. Uh, which is okay. It's 3,000. I can always upgrade this later on down the line. It's 3,000. I think that's pretty decent. And we also want to get a shield, don't we? So let's actually just go ahead and get a relatively cheap looking shield. I'm going to sell the crossbow because I don't really need it. And there we have it. All right. So there we are. Now, this is a pretty good start. This is a pretty good start. Not really too much to complain about. And we are going to once again be heading on over to raid a village. We're going to raid another village. And the one we're going to raid is one of these. i um, thinking we'll probably go for Saramish. Got to be a bit careful though, because vassals could be nearby and we might want to start actually fighting a couple of, uh, fighting a couple of, um, you know, looter parties or forest bandits or even sea raiders at this point. We could probably deal with without too many difficulties. But yeah, anyway, this is probably going to be uh, one of the last villages that we raid because otherwise our relation with the Rodox is going to just be way too low and then, and then they're just going to want to attack us almost all the time. So I'd like to try and prevent that from happening. Okay, there we go. I can't take anything else, but I could swap out a couple of things if I wanted to. Could I? Yeah, I could swap that. I could swap this. And I think we're just going to leave the rest. Yeah, I think that's perfectly fine. So that's... That's pretty good. I like it. I like it. Okay, so now we're going to go over to Uxkarl, and if we can actually see any bandits along the way, I will fight them. But as it stands, I don't think there will be. Aha, uh -huh, hello there. You're following a vegetable. Yes, you're, you're a little bit, um, a little bit crazy to be doing that. And he's actually a little bit faster than I am, I think. So he has more horses. So I'm actually going to buy another horse to go into my inventory and we're going to just sell some of this stuff. Uh, let's just get this out of the way. Sell this, sell the dry meat. Uh, we can sell this as well. The butter is going to sell for a pretty decent amount too. And there we have it. Okay, there's the horses and the, oh yeah, there we go. This is what we like to see. A lot of money right here. There we go. And we got some armor as well. Technically I could buy some more armor, but I already have some decent stuff so maybe some gauntlets some gauntlets i could buy some of those and we really need to get a new weapon we really need to get a new weapon so i'm thinking we'll probably try and do that in just a second as well okay so there we go all of my uh, all of my food has been sold that's good and let's get a new weapon okay so what do we want well we, i think it would probably be a really good idea to get something that has a decent amount of weapon reach um, so I'm thinking maybe a two-handed of some kind, like a pole arm, or maybe even a two-handed sword. Um, I'm thinking maybe one of these. Uh, this is 3,200. We have enough for that. We do have enough for 3,200. So that might be making the most sense. So I'm thinking we'll probably go for that. We could go for either one of these. But that requires... Oh, wow, that's 28,000. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> that's a little bit too expensive for me. Uh, but yeah, I just need one more point in strength to be able to use either one of these. I actually like this one the most, the balanced two-handed saber. So I'm just going to be keeping that in my inventory for now. And that is pretty much all we can do. I'm uh, going to just wait here for some time so that this vassal can go away. Thank you very much. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move this way. There we have it. Okay, so I actually have a full party as well, by the way. I didn't actually realize that at the time, so that was the reason why I couldn't recruit any additional units. But uh, that is okay. So now, let us see what we can do. It would probably be a good idea for me to fight a couple of forest bandit parties, looter parties, and so on and so forth around this area first, before we actually go over to Sea Raider territory. I would love to be able to fight some Sea Raiders right now, but I don't think think mm, I actually you know what it might it might work it might work should I hmm I'm now in two minds about it oh hello there okay yes let's let's attack these guys 
uh, if we can actually catch up with them. That's one of those that's one of those things where it's very very difficult to catch up to enemy parties in Warband and in, in indeed in, in Bannerlord in certain in certain situations too. Anyway, we're just going to tell everyone to charge in. I think generally they are always charging, so I don't need to do that. But that is just a that's just a habit now. It's just a habit, and I'm also holding down Alt to see where the enemy is as well, which is also a habit that I have from Bannerlord now. Haha, <laughs> fantastic. Anyway, let's have a look-see here. Okay, I'm gonna obviously try to not die, because I, I can't, you know. If I die, then we're more than likely going to lose. And I'm gonna see if I can maybe do something with this absolutely terrible weapon. I would like to be able to uh, get some kills. Because getting some kills, that's actually the only way you can earn experience in Warband, if you don't know. This is the only way you can earn experience, getting the killing blow on the opponent. That's all you can really do. So that's exactly what I am trying right now. Uh, just going to try and do some, a little bit of harassing damage as well. There we go. Nice. Okay, we've already gotten a bunch of kills already. Not too bad. I'm actually surprised that we're getting so many kills. It's been a long time since I've played this game. So I am rusty. Don't get me wrong. I am very, very rusty indeed. And there we are. We are now level two. Perfect. Absolutely wonderful. And that means that I can now spec that last point that I need in strength to get to 10 strength. And then I will be able to use that new weapon that I just purchased. So that's going to be super nice. We also have a couple of manhunters here that we could potentially rescue. I obviously don't have the ability to capture any enemies because I don't have any prisoner management skill. So that's obviously something I won't be doing. But we also have a couple of level ups here. I'm going to be going for Rodok Crossbowman instead of the infantry tree. I don't see the point in actually going for infantry with the Rodoks unless you are playing a... Uh, certain faction only kind of build you know if you're doing a, a playthrough with just the Rodox then obviously you're going to have to use those but for me personally I don't really want to do that we're otherwise just going to I don't even see the point in really taking this loot but we're going to take it nevertheless there's some more forest bandits there but I'm not actually going to do anything with them either let's just level these guys up once more there we are and let's spec that that point into strength shall we get another point in power strike or shall we spec into something else might be an idea to spec into something else. Maybe some engineer. Maybe it would be a good idea to spec into some engineer. Yeah, why not? Because you never know. Maybe there's going to be a point where I might actually be able, with the many, many factions that are going to be doing war against each other, I might be able to besiege something really early on and capture it as a result. So I'm hopeful that maybe we'll be lucky. Uh, it's not looking It's not looking that good right now, i got to say. It's not looking that good right now, but... Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Okay, hello. Uh, thankfully, I can basically just ignore most of the enemies around here because I don't really need to... I mean, shall we say... I, I say enemies, but I'm talking about enemy vassals or possible enemy vassals. I don't need to worry about those in the least because, of course, they are neutral to me right now. But that doesn't mean that that's going to remain the case. Okay, so otherwise... We're just going to keep an eye on things. We're going to keep an eye on the Nords for the most part. I have... Uh, I, I, I basically took a look at each territory and I thought to myself, okay, am I going to be going for these guys or am I going to be going for these guys? And I was basically deciding between the Nords and the Rodox. And that's the reason why I decided to go and raid the villages of the Rodox first because the Rodox, they only have three towns. The Nords only have three towns. Well, the, the Vagias obviously have four. The uh, the Kurgits have four. The Saranids have four. And obviously, you know, the Swadians have four. So those are all relatively large territories to control. In regards to the Nords versus the Rodox, of course, it very much depends on what you want to go for. But for me specifically, I just felt it was maybe a little bit easier for us to just start in Rodox territory, raid a couple of their villages, and then just come up here and fight some Sea Raiders. And that was the main reason why I decided to do that, because fighting some Sea Raiders is obviously much more lucrative than fighting in Rodok territory, where you're mostly going to be seeing mountain bandits and things of that ilk. Uh, unfortunately, I actually forgot to equip my two-handed sword. So this is... Well, I could have gone to the chest, I guess. Could have gone to the chest, but I'm going to just deal with this the way it is because I think using a shield right here would probably be kind of useful because I am going to get hit by a couple of 
these thrown weapons. I'm going to just try and waste their ammunition as much as I possibly can. So I'm just going to ride around in circles and, um, you know, just try to get them to expend all of their thrown weapons as much as possible because we really do not want my forces getting hit by them. So that's the strategy that I'm using against these guys. Thankfully, they are not as annoying to deal with in Warband as they are in Bannerlord. And I'm talking about polearm users. <laughs> uh, don't even get me started on polearm users. They completely stop your horse in Bannerlord and you're just like, what? Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> you know, it's that kind of thing that happens. But uh, yeah, these guys are going to be very, very difficult for us to deal with. So I'm just very badly just trying to get as many of them killed as possible. And I'm obviously trying to deal damage myself. I re would really like to get some uh, some killing blows here and there. And then what we're going to do is we're probably going to head back to Swadian territory, killing some things along the way to try and gain some more units. Now, bear in mind that obviously I would probably like to raid some more villages. Maybe it would be a, also a relatively good idea for me to um, maybe do something in regards to um, maybe doing a tournament. Maybe doing a tournament or something like that might be kind of useful. But I'm not entirely sure about that just yet. All right, so we're going to go for some charisma here. I'd like to go for some more leadership eventually. Going to go for one more point in engineering because that could be kind of useful in the end. And we are now going to be finally equipping my two-handed. Going to still keep the one-handed equipped just in case. And we're actually going to take a look and see whether these Nordic swords are better than what I had. No, they are not. Okay, that's great. Good to know. And otherwise, we're just going to go in here very, very fast and just sell all of this stuff. I don't really need any of it. And we can pretty much just sell all of it without any worries whatsoever. There we go. And I should probably buy some additional horses and things like that as well. But that's the thing. I'm just keeping an eye on what's happening in the Nord territories. Hopefully, they're going to... Um, they're going to be besieged relatively soon or something along those lines. I'm hoping that they're probably going to be attacking each other. And here we go. Okay, we got some more Sea Raiders to attack. All right, fantastic. That is uh, that's kind of interesting. I actually wouldn't have expected them to attack me, but apparently they wanted to. Maybe they thought that their, um, their friends nearby were going to attack us. Obviously, that would have been pretty awful, but... Yeah, anyway, we do have a shield on our back. Hopefully the shield is going to prevent us from taking a little bit of extra damage from various other angles. And otherwise, I can probably just go straight on in here, do some nice damage with the two-handed, because let's face it, Warband, you can probably do okay without uh, needing a shield too badly, at least at the moment. Ooh, wow, okay, never mind. That guy literally just hit my horse in the head. That did a lot of damage. Really don't want to get this horse lamed or anything like that. So I would prefer if they wouldn't. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, this is this is bad. Okay, come on. Kill the archer. Ah, okay, my horse almost died. Okay, yeah, let's be very, very careful. Do not want it to die. I really do not want it to die. So hopefully my forces will be able to eliminate these enemies without too many difficulties. Come on, get them. Get them dead. Get them dead. Ah. Yeah, my, my two-handed weapon proficiency is very slow at the moment, so I'm going to need to be very careful about that in the future. Obviously, if these if these were, I don't know, if these were vassal units, we would be having some pretty big difficulties right now, in my opinion. But, yeah, thankfully they are just sea, sea Raiders, so we don't really need to worry too much. I have to also remember about Weapon Master. That's something that I always forget to do in these kinds of situations. I always forget about Weapon Master. Let's just level these guys up so that they can gain a little bit of more, uh, a little bit more experience as we go forward. Oh, these are nice to sell. Those, uh, those two, uh, two torso pieces right there. So that's really nice. We're actually being attacked by more and more enemy units as well, which is actually not even bad. I don't think that's too bad. And we can now just wait here for some time, which is exactly what we're going to do. I need to just restore my forces, restore my own HP. And then I'm thinking we might actually decide to go away from here. Uh, yeah, I think I might decide to go away from here for the moment. Maybe we want to just get uh, one more, uh, one more fight in us, one more fight. Yeah, let's do one more fight and see whether we can do that. There we go. Hello there, sir. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do what we can to win this. And then I'm thinking we'll probably go down to Swadian territory once again, because we would like to, you know, keep my recruits up and up and running. Because obviously, if, we, if we're wanting to do, you know, complete domination 
over the entirety of the land, we are very certainly going to need Swadian Knights. We will need Swadian Knights. We will need all those wonderful, wonderful units. And I'm thinking once we have um, eliminated our first faction, which this is very far in the future, potentially. I'm not entirely sure. It very much depends on how we do. But once we have eliminated our first faction, then we might be able to start using their units as well a little bit more fervently. For example, if we eliminate the Nords first, then we can start using Nord Huskarls and uh, a various, you know, assortment of other units, possibly. So that could be kind of fun. But as it stands, that's way, way in the future, possibly. So I shouldn't really even be discussing it, but who knows? Uh, maybe, maybe it's going to be something cool. Okay, don't die now. Don't die. I should probably get some wound treatment as well, shouldn't I? Probably get some wound treatment, probably get some first aid and stuff like that. But yeah, surgery generally is going to be the most important thing for us at the moment. Just generally because we want to make sure that every single one of our units stays alive as long as they possibly can. So that they can finally level up into those super, super powerful Swadian Knights and higher tier units. Because we're going to need those. They are going to be so incredibly important for us. Okay, so we're just going to move back to River Chegg right now, and I'm going to get attacked again. Okay, I'm very, I'm very intrigued by this, actually. Very intrigued. Wouldn't have expected them to be so incredibly steadfast in their devotion to the raiding of the seas. Yes, indeed. Yeah, they, they very much want to murder us right now. And I'm actually a little bit worried about this. Hmm. Maybe I am a bit worried about this. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that is not good. I don't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to tell everyone to charge. I don't want to I don't want to tell any any of them to like change their change what they're doing to, you know, do something worse. You know what I mean? So cuz generally I don't really want to use strategy against sea raiders or anything like that. I think that generally just charging straight on in should be enough to basically handle them. But um we have to be very careful. I do not want to... Yeah, look at look at this. Look at what's happening. I don't want to die here. I don't want to die. If I die, that's a game over for the battle. And I'm going to need to auto-resolve. Yeah, auto-resolve the remaining bit of the fight. And you know how auto-resolving is in Warband. Well, maybe if you don't, it's really unfair. It's really unfair. In other words, if you have 100 Huskarls and you go and attack a band of 20 looters, you're more than likely going to lose a handful of Huskarls, even though they are the highest tier, most heavy infantry in the game, and yet they still die against regular looters. Where if you were to go into an actual battle against looters with your 100 Huskarls, you would never lose any of them. So it's very much a case of auto-resolve is just a weird, weird calculation in Warband. And sometimes in Bannerlord as well, to be, to be fair. Okay, so I'm... Oh, look at this. I'm actually getting attacked once again. Okay, I'm very... Oh, okay. This is interesting. This is actually kind of cool because we're getting some decent experience for this. I've got to be very careful about this, however, because I am very low in HP. So it might very well be the case that I am, you know, biting off much more than I can chew in this particular instance. So I should be very, very careful here. And once I get back into River Check, I should just wait for some time, have a have a little respite and uh, just kind of chill. That's it. Just kind of chill. Just, you know, kind of be a bit more... Uh, bit more careful about what I'm doing. Let's try and eliminate some of these guys. Don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm worried. Oh, wow. Yeah, I am super worried about these guys shooting me right now. Okay, I'm just going to try and... Here we go. Can I get him? Yes, I can. Whew. Okay, that was a bit close. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. We have eliminated quite a few of them, and I believe they are now going to start to run away. Yep, there we, there we are. And we're now level 5. Wow. Kind of surprised. Kind of surprised. All right. Yeah, so we're just going to probably put another point into Charisma or something like that. I'm thinking we we probably will need more leadership. The more, the, well, more leadership equals more troops, less wages, making it so much easier in the early game to gain people and for them to help you out in every single possible way. And there we go. We got some man-at-arms already. So that's really, really nice. That's going to that's gonna help us so incredibly much to win battles going forward as well. Let me actually just sell a couple of these things so I can gain some of the more expensive loot. There we go. Going to have to just swap out that. And there we have it. Okay, so are you going to continue attacking me? 
Because if you continue attack me, I, I'm, I'm not going to be very pleased, sir. Alright, so I leveled up twice, actually. So let me go for another two points in Charisma, I guess. And we'll just go for another point in Leadership. And then, where do we want to spec our points? That's the question. Do we want to spec it into Wound Treatment? Maybe we want to spec it into Wound Treatment. Maybe we want to spec it into Inventory Management. Maybe Inventory Management would be good. I don't know, but I think for the moment, let's just go for another point in Power Strike. And then we'll just level up our two-handed weapon. And then we're just going to go straight on in here. Yeah, these guys just basically gave up now because there's no point in attacking us. No way. All right, so that's perfectly fine with me. Very, very pleased about that. I've got some good gloves, decent, uh, decent boots. My torso armor could be upgraded. So that's the thing that we're going to be looking to upgrade as time goes on. And otherwise, we're just going to be taking all of that. There we are. Okay, that's perfectly fine. All right, so how much money do I have? I have 2,100. Okay, so we're going to go straight on down. I'm just going to basically just walk straight on down towards the Swadian territories. And I how mu have how much space now? I have 56 spaces. Okay, that's pretty decent. That's not too bad. So now all we need to do, as I say, is just look out for any... Um, any fief that gets taken in the Nord territories, or even in the even in the Rodox territories, but it would be much more difficult to actually do something in the Rodox territories because, uh, well, they don't like us at the moment due to our various raids that we perpetrated against them. But uh, yes, generally, we want to we want to keep a lookout for that. So, if we see anything like that, then of course we will try and take advantage of it as as best we can. Aha! Hello there. Okay, there's a bit of an infestation going on here. We might as well help them out. Just a little bit. And uh, yeah, well, this is maybe going to be a pretty decent amount of experience that we're going to gain as well. Or at least I can hope so. Let me switch to my two-handed here. I'm uh, a bit worried about fighting these guys, all things considered. Yeah, this is the reason. Uh, yeah, no, it's actually not too bad. It's actually not as bad as I anticipated. Or maybe it is. Oh, hello. Okay, yeah. Uh... Okay, yeah, yeah, maybe? No, no, I think it's fine. <laughs> okay, I think it's fine. Yeah, I was worried. I was worried, okay? Because these guys had thrown weapons. I have I have bad experiences with thrown weapons. You know, I go up against the guy that has, I don't know, a tier 2 thrown weapon, and he's literally a tier 3 unit or something like that, and then all of a sudden he does over 100 damage with a headshot or something, and it's just, oh, absolutely awful. Okay, so I'm just going to refuse this because I don't really care about it that much. I'd rather have the relation with them, and we're just going to go and continue to recruit people, and I think I might actually try a bit of a raid against the Rodox. I, I don't know whether that's going to be a good idea or not, but I'm going to I'm going to see whether that's actually an idea. Maybe maybe we can try it. I'd like to try a tournament as well cuz I mean the nostalgia alone would be super super fun in my opinion at least. And uh, we have 54 units. Yeah, we're almost capped out. So let me actually just take a quick look at Dirim real fast. And no, still nothing has been taken. That's perfectly fine. All right, so we're just going to go over to Dirim and then we're just going to Go into the arena, see if there are any tournaments running right now. Uh, is there a reward? I'm going to give my bruises some time to heal about the melee fights. Can I just go and ask you about this? There we go. Vel oh, are you serious? The only tournament currently running is in Veluca. That is absolutely ridiculous. That is the, the That is literally the most hilarious thing that I've seen so far. Because it's literally the only place that we cannot possibly go. So that is obviously not exactly great. But anyway, let's just go over here. I'm going to see if I can raid this village. And do bear in mind, if... And I'm, so I'm talking about, you know, in the rare moment that a uh, an enemy vassal might appear, I might be able to even fight him. Or, 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 or maybe not. Yeah, or, or or maybe not. <laughs> I mean, I'd be able to fight this guy. I could fight this guy easily, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, come back here, come back here. I want to fight you. I want to fight you. I don't want to fight that guy, though. I, I don't want to fight that guy. I just want to fight the 28th. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, uh, yeah, they're, they're going to make it. They're going to make it very, very difficult. 
they are going to make it very, very difficult. So yeah, now they are going to be much more likely to attack us and everything. I still have my five man at arms, by the way, so that's not too bad. But uh, yeah, generally a bit of a setback, a bit of a setback, which is obviously not great. But oh well, never mind. Maybe I should have stayed in Sea Raider territory, eh? Maybe I should have stayed there and that maybe would have made more sense, but... I don't know. I was uh, I was really hoping that I'd be able to... Maybe I can go around and actually raid one of these villages over here instead. Because that other village is on the border between the Rodox and the Saranids. And it might very well be the case that they are attempting to um, fight against the Saranids in a war, possibly. You know, that might actually make sense. So that might be the reason why they were there. And so if I go to Estiniar or something like that, I might be able to take advantage of it. Aha, Ismerala Castle has been besieged. Mm, I don't really want to take a castle if at all possible. I would like to take a town if I can help it. And I can attack some mountain bandits right here. Okay, I guess I will attack the mountain bandits just to level up some of my recruits because I am now maxed out again. So hopefully we'll be... Be, you know, hopefully being able to level up our forces even further and maybe get some more man at arms and things like that would be really, really nice. As that is going to increase our killing potential almost tenfold, pretty much. Any single time you can get man at arms, or even, uh, you know, Huskars or any of the higher tier units, it's really going to make a huge difference to your overall um, chances of victory. So they're, they're usually a really good idea to go for. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, don't don't get killed now. Don't get my horse killed either. This is this is a good horse. I'm I'm happy with this horse at the moment. Alright, yeah, that seems fine. I think we've killed everyone. Yep, indeed we have. Okay, fantastic. And now I will recruit one person. Thank you. Yes, one person. And we've just leveled up a couple more people. Wow, yeah, we have a lot of Swadian recruits. We have way too many recruits and not enough of anything else. So I'm going to put these recruits at the very top of our party list so they spawn in first. And then we're just going to try and I think what we're going to do is I'm going to walk around here. I'm not sure how, how the vision range on these villages actually is. So I should be a bit careful about this because I really do not want to get seen by the village so that it can tell people, hey, there's a, there's a person over here. We want to try and prevent ourselves from being raided, you know, that's on, you know. That, that kind of stuff. So generally, we're going to go over here. Let's hope that there's not any vassal in the area. And I'll be able to do something amazing. Please give me some wonderful, wonderful loot. I will be very, very pleased if we have some wonderful, wonderful loot from this. It seems like I am getting, uh, I'm getting lucky. Wonderful. Look at this. Oh, we also got sp two times spice, velvet, two times silk. Wow. All right. Thank you very much for this. Oh, yeah. That is what I'm looking for. I like it. Okay. So, yeah, we're just going to swap basically all of this around. And we're just going to take the new, uh, the, new, um, the new food. And then we're just going to move on away from here as fast as we possibly can. Because we really do not want to be in this location when a vassal turns up. Although, I don't mind if it's a vassal that has 28 units. If it's a vassal that has 28 units, I will welcome them with open arms. I will. Oh, yes. Okay, wait a minute. Hello there. That is the fellow that actually wanted to, def wanted to defeat me before. So I have to be very careful about this. He's moving at 4.2 speed. I'm moving at 4.8. All right, that's absolutely fine. I've got to be a bit careful here, though. Are you serious that he's catching me right now? Whoa, okay, that was, that was actually close. Oh, it's because Harangoth was there. Are they at war against each other, actually? I, I can't tell. That's the thing. I don't have the ability to tell that at the moment because technically what I could do is I think I can go into notes and then I can go into factions and then I can actually see what's happening here. Uh, yeah, basically has no outstanding issues with anyone at the moment. The, uh, the Rodox are absolutely fine. So, yeah, let's take a look at the Nords. They are at war with the kingdom of Vagias. Yeah, see, now that's exactly the reason why generally it would probably be a good idea to keep an eye on this because you never know what can happen. Maybe they're going to make a, I don't know, may, maybe make a big move towards somewhere or another and then we can take advantage of it as best we can. But at the moment, obviously, we can't really do that. So let's just sell some stuff. I don't really want to sell that. Let's sell this. There we go. 
And I do want to get some more horses, so I'm probably going to get another Sumter horse. We want to get six horses in our inventory. I believe that is the best I seem to remember. And we're otherwise just going to be doing something like that. There we go. Shall we get some better armor? <laughs> yeah, 44,000. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Good luck with that. Good luck. Okay, so yeah, we'll just sell some spice. We'll sell some spice. There we go. And that is perfectly fine. Look at that. Now we have a pretty significant amount of cash. Yeah, we've got 5,300. And now I can even move over to Suno as well. And maybe we can do something there. And yeah, we've got another 1,300 to get rid of. There we go. And we got another horse possibility here. No, no Sumter horses, unfortunately. So that's kind of sad. Whoa, 3,000 here. Is it because I bought my armor here? I think it's because I bought my armor here, possibly. That's, uh, that's most likely the reason for it. And there's not much more that I can do here. So I'm basically just going to be moving all of this into a more reasonable place. There we go. And there we have it. Okay, so we now have 7,700. Is there a tournament going on nearby? I would love to be able to do one. Please give me a tournament. Aha, here we go. There's one in Sargoth and Ravidin. Ravidin and Sargoth are the closest, I believe. Tyr is close too, so Tyr I'm going to be going for. And hopefully we'll be able to get there in time. Hopefully they're going to give me a two-handed. If they give me a two-handed, then I'll be pretty happy. If they give me throne weapons, then I will not be happy. So we'll see what happens with it. Okay, here we go. I can actually join the tournament. Fantastic. Let's do this. They gave me a two-handed. Oh, all right. Wow, the nostalgia of doing one of these tournaments. Well, that was easy enough, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm actually super surprised that we were... I, I feel like the weapons are really, really fast in comparison to uh, to Bannerlord. It's, it's, kind of, uh, it's kind of funny, right? I think it's kind of funny, at least. Anyway, let me see if I can do a little bit of overhead damage. Oh, never mind. Don't need to. Nice shield. I mean, to block this guy. And, uh, oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> oh, that's super funny. Any single time there's a uh, an archer in a tournament, and they are equipped with a dagger or a knife, you never actually have to worry about them in melee. Because they cannot block you. I thought that was a really funny, um, that's a really funny thing that the developers did originally, where they basically made it so that the daggers and the knives and things like that, you can't block with them, so you can't parry. And I suppose from a weight perspective, that's probably the case, because let's face it, if you are wielding an extremely large battle axe or a massive cleaver in your hands, and a guy with a knife is able to parry you, it doesn't feel great, right? So I, I get what they were trying to do, but it basically makes it so that archers are so incredibly uh, useless in melee. I mean, I, I'm not, not going to pull any punches about that. Okay, so these guys are going to murder me. Yeah, these guys are going to murder me. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We might be able to actually do something here. Oh, nice. There we go. Come on. Come on, Sword Sister. Thank you very much for helping me. Oh, wow. I almost died. I am... Very, very pleased. Okay, here we go. Two-handed versus a shield. Okay, this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be a bit of a harsh one. Okay, never mind. It's not going to be a bit of a harsh one. All right. It was, that, was, that was easy. That was easy. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, so this is the uh, penultimate... What? what? Where? Where's the enemy? Oh, all the way over there. You see that guy? He's, he's blending in. He's blending into the walls. I, I didn't even see him. Okay, that's that's pretty incredible. Uh, yeah, so thankfully, I don't think we really need to worry about the archer. As you can quite clearly see. Absolutely super easy. <laughs> super easy to deal with. And now this is the final. Oh, no. They gave me the bow. Are you serious right now? And I'm against Zarina. Okay. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. I couldn't block, okay? I couldn't block because these knives, they literally do not have a blocking function. If you take a look here, boom. Balanced knife can't be used to block. And I don't have a shield either. 
And obviously, if I'm against Zarina, I'm never, ever in a million years going to be able to penetrate her shield. Because, especially with my archer skill, I'm not going to be able to do anything against her. So uh, that was a that was a huge middle finger from the game right there. They, it was literally just like, nah, you know what? I don't really want you to win this. That is exactly what happened right there. Jeremus is over there, by the way, and I can't actually take him at the moment. So I'm going to have to disband this. That's the reason why I exited without going to speak to him. I do want to get him into my party, I believe. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll just say, hey, uh, you could travel with me and you join for free, which is absolutely fantastic. I love that. All right. So technically what we could also do is if I wanted to, I could start raiding the Nord villages. I know. Probably not the best idea, right? Probably not the best idea. I think the best idea for us right now would probably be to go back to Sea Raider territory and just fight a lot of them. Just fight a lot of them, full charge, and see what we can do about that. You can see here that we have some Nords and Vagias fighting against each other. That's perfectly fine. I'm actually really, really happy about this because the more that they fight, the, the weaker they get. Or shall we say the weaker that, you know, so some of them get at the very least. And that's going to be really, really nice for us in the end. So hopefully that will work out. And otherwise, uh, where, are, where are all the Sea Raiders? Where are all of the Sea Raiders? They, they don't seem to be around here at all. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Uh, ah, here we go, here we go. Hello. 14 of them. All right. I should be able to catch them, right? Can I? Am I that slow? I am actually apparently that slow. Huh. Uh, I could attack that. Oh, I could attack both of these. I think I could probably win it. Oh, no, 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 never mind. I, I, could, w I could win against one of them. Should I fight them? I really want to, but I am kind of worried about it. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't want him to be at the top, do I? Um, how do I, how do I, how do I, um, oh, there we go. Yeah, that, that's how I equip him with things. Okay, so yeah, he has no, no horse or anything like that. I don't know whether I really want to give him a horse, to be honest. I don't really want to give him a horse, but I am going to turn him into the companion group. I'm just going to put him into the medic, medic tag. There we go. So he could basically just stand at the back and, uh, he doesn't have to worry about anything. Um, yeah, I'm actually really wanting to fight this guy. But, uh, actually, you know what? Wait a minute. No, he, he's the hard one. Yeah, this guy's the hard one. Okay, I'm not sure if I could achieve victory against this fellow. I only have five Swadian Man-at-Arms, and he has 15 Nord Warriors. Uh, Nord Warriors are pretty good. They are um, Tier 4? Tier 3? Uh, I, think, I think they're Tier 4. Uh, I could be wrong about that. These guys are moving super, super fast as well. Not entirely sure how they're moving so fast, but okay. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a bit of an issue finding some sea raiders now, I suppose. But I guess uh, what else is there to do? I mean, I could do an, I could do a tournament. You see, that's the thing. I'd love to win a tournament. That would be so incredibly nice for us. There's one at Sargoth. Yeah. Should should I go? Should I go there? Or should I just wait at Rivercheck? I'm just going to wait at Rivercheck for a few. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Can you slow down? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a classic. This is an absolute classic right here. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch this party. Or maybe I maybe I can. This is one of those times, you see. This is one of those times where I absolutely loathe the way that they uh, they did the pursuing mechanics in the game because I would love them to just slow down a little bit. You know, get intimidated by the amount of craziness that is happening here. The Nords are declaring war against the Swadians. That's not a good idea. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I could possibly get them cornered over here. Oh, if only I'd won that tournament. If I'd won that tournament, I'd have enough to actually buy a business, and that would have been really, really useful for us. A Weavery and Dye Works in Rivercheg. Hmm, yeah, that would have been real good. That would have been really, really good. But 
Uh, actually, uh, wait a minute. Is it is a uh, isn't Ironworks better in that place? Actually, I'm not entirely sure now. Ah, I, th I think it is the I think it is the Weavery and Dyeworks, isn't it? Okay, well, whatever the case, seems like I'm not going to actually be able to catch these guys because apparently they just disappeared into thin air. I'm not entirely sure where they went, but oh well. Oh, there they are. And then they're just going to run away again. Yeah, that happens. That happens way too much in my opinion. Okay, so unfortunately I won't be able to get any more horses because these are way too expensive for me at the moment. So what can I do? I guess I can try and fight... I don't want to... I don't I don't want to go into this manually. I really don't want to go into that, that particular fight manually and then we just get such terrible loot by helping these... Uh, these vassals here which is really sad in itself but yeah all right i think that's probably going to be it for this episode i don't really see anything else that i can really capitalize on at the moment so what i'm going to do is we're going to wait a little bit of time we're going to see what happens because obviously here we go oh actually wait a minute wait a minute keradan castle is actually being attacked right now maybe you know what maybe it would have been a better idea for me to get rid of some of my recruits and then just fight sea raiders by catching up to them. Let me see what actually happens with that. Let me just disband a bunch of recruits. How fast am I traveling? Let me see. 5.6. Yeah, that's actually a lot better. So technically what I could do... Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this off screen so you don't have to, you don't have to worry about it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to disband... All of my units after I've leveled them up into man at arms or close to man at arms, and I'm going to disband the Rodox, uh, the Rodox crossbowmen, and so on and so forth. And we're going to go for pure Swadians for the moment, and then what we're going to do is, you know, launch ourselves into attacking vassals and things like that. That would probably be a much better strategy for us. But um, I obviously went and recruited some Rodox because I was worried about the uh, the raiding of the villages. I didn't want them to. Um, to actually attack me, you know, charge out and attack me, because they can do that. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. And, uh, yeah, so I thank you very much for joining me on our first episode through the 10-year anniversary series of Mount and Blade Warband. And I'll see you next time.